Uh, it was just an um, opportunity to, for me to make a play for my team, and um, it was um, a crunch time situation. <clears throat> so uh, I remember last week, I keep saying this, but last week uh, I missed the pick um, in Auburn. So I just wanted to come out here. I've been thinking about it all week. I got to get me one. And that's what I wanted to do. And I was able to do that, put in that position, and do help my team set up COVID, hit that field goal. It was a very great fit. Yeah, Trayvon said all week he was getting on you maybe about, man, yes. you got to get a pick, yes. right? He was, all, he was telling me all weekend, he was saying, man, you don't want to be great. And uh, that's something I kind of let sit. I kept it in the back of my mind because I had to get better from it. But it's something I definitely thought about. I mean, missing a pick in a big-time game, it's, it haunted me. It haunted me. And to get that out of my system felt good. Really good. How long have you known Les? That's old. I knew Coach Miles for approximately nine, not, maybe between the spectrum of six and nine years, because I was like 12. No, I was seven years, seven years, seven years. What did it mean to be in, in the locker room after his 100th win and have such a pivotal role in that? Uh, it was definitely amazing. You know, he's a genuine person, and uh, a guy like that, I, everybody loves to play for him. I mean, he's just, a, he cares about his players, he takes care of us, and it was just amazing for me to be a part of that and feel like some type of ownership with that and to watch him get that game ball on his 100th win. It was nice, man. I'm honored to be a part of it.